Hi everyone, it's me, it's Chris, <laughs> back in my parlour, welcome. And today I'm here with a pick a card and it's using my new book which I went through yesterday and showed you. It's Never Too Late by Patrick Lindsay and it's never too late to cherish your friends, unleash your imagination, design your own future, find your inner leader, make a difference, share wisdom, simplicity and balance it's never too late and I thought we could try this today it's never too late to bring something into your life or to explore something in your life and then we have some possibilities to add to that to see what might be coming in for you because it's never too late so you have the choice of the green Swiss roll little vanilla Swiss roll or the strawberry Swiss roll to find out what might be possible for you today and what it may never be too late to do. So I'm going to pour a cup of tea for everyone to get the energy flowing. And you have the choice of one, two or three. You can choose any combination you want. It's up to you. I do not believe that there is a specific message in each one just one I mean they're they're all over the place and I think sometimes messages are collected not just given but they are collected and then you take what you need and leave the rest so collect the messages that you need from either one two or three or any combination that you wish it's your reading and then we'll find out when it's never too late thank you Number one, let's have a look and see what you have in store for you. I'm going to flip through this book. I'm going to choose the right hand side message for you. It's never too late for number one to what? To balance their life. It's never too late to try. This is quite small print but I'm going to give it my best shot so it's never too late to try whatever you do however hard the challenge always look for the light use all your strengths draw on your reserves never concede have a go I'm going to read this one here it's very tiny real education is bringing the best out of yourself so it's never too late to try never give up let's have a look and see what your possibilities are it's never too late to try and let's have a look at your possibilities for number one please What might be coming through for you? treasure trove of money comes through here so savings comes through here there's been an increase in your savings perhaps now you have enough to accomplish what it is that you wish to pursue or money will be coming through for you an investment matures someone will repay a debt a financial debt you will receive um, a bank a statement saying yes you can go through with this loan um, there's an insurance company payout or something else like that um, taxation check coming through whatever it is there's going to be money for you to accomplish what it is that you desire so it's never too late to try especially when there's financial backing for you or they could be getting a pay rise and that sort of thing comes through here some sort of payment is on its way to you 
or your savings have matured. So try for whatever it is that you want. Never concede, never concede to defeat. Superannuation may be imminent, perhaps like that comes through here. Retirement money, oh, all sorts of things. Whatever's relevant to you. What else comes through? Oh, a road trip, travel, moving forward, leaving behind. I don't think it's a permanent move, but it could be. We've got the combi van here, so you could be packing up your things and just moving forward, taking a chance on seeing what is out there, leaving behind what it is that no longer serves you, um, just moving ahead, going on an adventure. Hmm. Leaving the past behind, just seeing what's out there. Not allowing any of those mountains to hold you back. There's a clear path before you. It will it'll clear any obstacles. The, there's not going to be any trouble here. This is going to be a clear path for you to move forward. You also have the finances to do that. So go out there and try for an adventure. Go out there and try your best for what it is that you seek. Ooh. <clears throat> but be clear about what it is you want. Pursue what is available to you. Make sure it is available to you. Make sure you're not pulling the wool over your own eyes. You're not looking through rose-coloured glasses. See the truth. Look for all the um, plan. I think that's most important is to plan, to see exactly what is there in front of you. Do not deceive yourself. Look at the practicality of it. Is it viable? Is it reliable? All of those things that we always do when we when we move forward and we try something brand new to make sure that the path ahead is clear, that we know our vision, we know what's ahead of us, we know what's behind us, we know what's at the side of us. So we can move forward with um, a clear and precise destination in mind I think is most important for you at the moment but above all though try and if you come across something that you think oh and it makes you question see why it makes you question see what's behind that question and then clear the path for yourself try don't give up on the first go and then think oh I can't do this anymore Try, try and try again. This is what's coming through here. Don't ever give up on what it is that you want because I think it's a very important part of your journey and I think it's never too late to move forward with that. So thank you, number one. Okay, number two, let's have a look at yours and see what might be happening for you and see what the possibilities are and what it's never too late to accomplish to balance your life. I'm going to give you the left-hand side um, quote. Left-hand side quote. Mm, it's never too late to ask for directions. We all need help sometimes. Asking someone for help honours them. It may require a dose of humility. 
humility, <laughs> but it's worth it. It saves time, it revitalizes your quest, it adds new dimensions. Rather light a candle than complain about darkness. So if, yeah, find your tribe perhaps. Ask your tribe for advice. Ask the universe for advice. <laughs> ask me for advice and the cards are coming through for you saying to you, ask for advice. It's not a weakness to ask for advice. And as it says in here, it's an honour for the person that you are asking because you trust their you trust their support you trust their intuition you trust their wisdom and perhaps they've been through the same thing and you think oh maybe I can ask this person because they will support me in this one and I trust them implicitly and sometimes, yeah, it's like saying, I don't know. And that sort of puts a dent in our faith in ourselves. But it need not be because that faith can be replaced when we seek the answer from somebody else. So it's never too late to ask for directions. And who wants to wonder about lost? Yeah, you might find new things to look at and to explore, but it can be a bit of a panic time and we don't want to panic. You don't need to panic at this particular moment because the answer is there. You just need to seek it. So go out there and look. Light your candle and see the, um, the glimmer of hope in the darkness. So let's have a look at your possibilities, shall we? So if you're feeling lost... Ask for directions. And what else might be coming through for you? For number two, please. And don't forget to breathe. Oh, breathe. Have a look and see. Oh, my goodness, asking for directions is seems to be an impossible task when you have so many choices and so many questions to ask, and you can be led in so many different directions. So when you ask for direction, really trust that you want to receive the answer, and it will point you in the right direction. It will point you to where you need to be, but you still have choices. We all have choices. We all have free choice. So no matter what. In information you receive, no matter what, which um, piece of wisdom, wisdom you take, you have free choice about where you go. Does that make sense? And sometimes we are even more confused. Oh no, no, don't do it to me. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to clear the air for you, and I'm confusing myself. Um, but there are always choices to make, no matter. Oh. It's interesting, isn't it? This is not a clear situation for you. I understand that. And I'm not lessening the choice that you need to make. But if you need to ask one, two, three, four, five people their, their opinion, then do so. One will lead you in the right direction and then you take a chance on which door you open because you have free choice you know it's not um you don't have to take the advice of every single person but whatever makes sense to you take on board analyze it work it out then take the next piece of advice that sits right with you and then make your decision because this is a very important one it would seem and i'm not trying to lighten that um Sometimes if we're floundering, the best thing to do is to grab hold of something stable, grab hold of something solid, and then once we are stabilised, once we have returned our balance and our equilibrium, then we can move forward. But I think at the moment you need to hold on to something stable 
and then make a decision from that and not to make a decision based on gut instinct or a jerk knee jerk reaction at the moment stabilize yourself balance yourself and then move forward <clears throat> time it's well balanced here not too much has passed we still got a fair bit to go so it's even so time is not a major issue here so don't rush anything don't rush into anything you still have time on your side it's still very well balanced okay so it's still time is still on your side there's no need to rush You're not running out of time. Don't panic. <laughs> Don't panic. Don't panic. You've still got time. <clears throat> mm. And trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Think about what it is that you want and then transform your thoughts. Transform your thoughts. No more of this woulda, coulda, shouldas or anything else like that or what ifs. Calm your mind. Listen to what it's telling you. Take the advice on board. Take what's true for you. Transform that into what you think and what you feel to be the truth for you. And then move forward. Trust the process. Light a candle. Open up the darkness. Find yourself a stable place of being. And then make your decision. Does that make sense to you today? Number two? I hope so. Thank you. Number three, let's have a look and see what might be happening for you and what it's never too late to accomplish, to balance your life, to move you forward. Oh, I've got the strawberry Swiss roll. Mm, just bite into that freshness. Oh, just seems to, oh, got me craving for strawberries now. <laughs> so when is it never too late or what is it never too late to do to accomplish? I'm going to give you the left-hand side um, quote today as I flip through the pages. The left-hand quote for number three, please. Oh, oh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. I've just got... A blank page. Well, it's not a blank page. There's a pattern in there. But it's a mystery. There's a mystery. You need to ask yourself what it's never too late to do. The universe is saying you choose. So mm, it's never too late to do whatever it is you want to do. How extraordinary. Well, let's have a look at your possibilities then, shall we? There's a pattern to life. you just got to fit it all in. There's a pattern. There's something emerging in your life, and you've just got to bring it all in together and allow your instinct, allow your... Oh, whatever is out there. I think maybe you've got so many ideas going on. Choose one <laughs> and then put it into action. And when the time is ripe, like when strawberries are ripe, 
oh they're so delicious so sweet and I think that's what is coming through here you've got so many things to to do so many things you want to do the universe is saying choose one and just do it I'm going to give you a juicy living juicy living um, card too and my new books are decks I'm going to give you a juicy living card Sorry. Did you feel that rumble? <laughs> Things are shaking up for you. Now that you're aware of your options. Oh, you know, you're aware of your options. Life is getting a little bit shaken up. And that, that was a message for you. It wasn't because I bumped the camera. It was because it's a message for you. Time to shake things up because it's never too late to shake things up. Make yourself known. Oh, and this is your other message. You are a star. We love to watch you glow. We love to watch you glow. And look, it's pink. Like the strawberry. Swiss roll. We love to watch you glow. So you are a star. So just go out there. Now let's have a look at your possibilities, number three. Don't give up. Even the tiniest ray of hope is a very powerful thing. Often it's when you least expect it that your miracle arrives. So don't give up. Something is missing. Remember we're talking about puzzles, bringing it all in together, finding the missing pieces. Then you can put it all into, into perspective and then find your balance and move forward. have courage <laughs> see yourself as you are you are a star and we love to watch you glow and look the colors match again <laughs> so be strong see yourself as a powerful being and go out there and achieve what you desire bring something into your life that you can start on something that you can aspire to and to bring about the next step in your life because it's never too late it's so whatever you dream of go for it not allowing others to um, put a damper on anything because your loved ones those that are important to you those that you think about those that you care about those that you love and trust and just admire they want to watch you glow because you are a star. So go out there and prove to the universe that you have it all down pat. 
So thank you. Okay, everyone, I hope that was helpful for you and gave you some inspiration to move forward and to understand that it's never too late to find that balance in your life and to make things happen. So thank you very much. And until next time, so many blessings.